Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. We had some interesting propagation taking place the last few evenings on uh, the VHF and UHF bands. Normally, uh, on my 2 meter radio, I can talk out to maybe 50 to 100 miles, uh, depending on conditions. But at times of the year, you get ducting going on, and you can extend your range by up to four or 500 miles at times. There is also a little sporadic E going on, uh, e-skip on VHF, and that is pretty unusual. So here's some samples of some stations I worked on 2 meter FM on 146.520 simplex. KE0 WTC, the copy WD0AKX, 172 miles. Yeah, I, uh, you're on YouTube there. I really enjoy your videos. I've watched quite a few of them. Well, thank you very much. Glad you enjoy them, and hopefully I can get some more out pretty soon, but uh, glad you uh, like them. Yeah, I'm getting you about a 5 by one and I'm located uh, near Toronto, South Dakota, uh, which is about 16 miles northeast of uh, Brookings. Yeah, sounded great. I heard you talking a little bit earlier, so you got a really good signal here. About... Uh, Oh, about uh, halfway on the S meter here on my radio. I'm running a Diamond X510 at 50 feet and uh, about, uh, actually I'm not even on high power. I'm on about 25 watts or so here right now. Yeah, you're getting uh, wiped out by some other stations. And I'm there. using the mid to high power settings on my radio, 20 to 50 watts approximately, to my Diamond X510 antenna that's at about 50 feet on top of my tower. I use a live time propagation map based on APRS stations. Here's the address. The deeper the color, the better the propagation, and actual lines on the map indicate possible uh, sporadic E type propagation happening, like you see here. This is what the legend of the map looks like, and the different colors, the mileage that they indicate. Uh, stations communicating by APRS at present time. So let's see if I can make some more contacts. Conditions are still looking pretty good here from my location in southern Minnesota. Uh, station calling, go again. About 90 miles. November Zero, Mike Quebec. Uh, yeah, good evening. This is Larry in Albert Lee, Minnesota. All right, Larry. Yeah, I'm uh, familiar with you. I've watched uh, your YouTube videos. Just kind of interested to get you here on uh, the two meter simplex here. My name is Justin, located in Springfield, uh, Minnesota. Thanks for coming back. All right, very good. Well, thank you for watching also, and uh, nice to make. Uh, contact with you here. I know it's real busy out there. I hear several stations, so I'll just make it quick, and uh, thanks for the contact. I'll be in here too later. Uh, WD0AKX73. Alright, 73, Larry. 73, nice to make contact with you on Simplex. 73, thanks for the videos. N0AKX, copy. Number 0, Mike. Yeah, KF0EHL, uh, good evening. WD0AKX here. About 126 miles, yeah, according good. to QRZ. This, yep, this is KF0EHL, Larry. Um, yeah, I watch your uh, videos also, and I think we know know somebody that uh, uh, we both know, um, and uh, Annex Zero P um, over at uh, Glenville. Um, does that ring a bell? Yeah, it sure does. He's a good friend of mine. Doesn't live uh, too far away, about ten miles away, the way the crow flies here. So, so yeah, I've, we've known each other for years. Uh, so uh, nice to meet up with you there too. That's great. I'm I'm glad uh, we could meet up here. Uh, um, yeah, you, if you see uh, see Junior, tell him uh, tell him hi. I uh, I still yet to meet, have to meet him yet, but he has sure been a big help uh, on the DMR side of things and that. I haven't talked to him for a couple weeks, so um, I really need to get on the on the horn with him and uh, and chat a while and uh, catch up with him. All right, yeah, I'll do that. I know he goes to bed early because he gets up at 3 a.m., so otherwise he does monitor 5-2 a lot uh, more earlier in the day, though. So great conditions tonight. Uh, thanks for the contact. you got a real good signal here uh, in Talbert Lee, so I'll uh, clear the frequency a little. I know there's a lot of stations out there. WD0AKX. Yeah, uh, 
That sounds great. Seven threes. Uh, hope to hear hear you soon again uh, uh, down the road here. So this is KF Zero EHL Seven Threes. Yes, this is KB Zero TDC. Uh, how do you do again, there, Larry? Well, good evening. Uh, you got a good signal here too. Copying all you guys, real good. Uh, how you doing? Real good. I just wanted to say uh, hello again. We heard you that one time many years ago, and still got your card. But just wanted to say how do you do in another opening here. I said I'd do. Three hundred and sixty miles. I'll let you go. There's plenty of stations out there. Rob, you sounded good here. Uh, maybe we could try a little bit later, Rob. Uh, but Larry, you take care. Uh, take it away. KB Zero T to see so three. Okay, thank you for the contact here. It's been a long time. Yes, I like these band openings when they happen this time of year. Kitty Zero YER copy. Whiskey Zero Zulu Mike Lima. Whiskey Zero Zulu Mike Lima. This is KD Zero YER. Go ahead. Uh, I've got a Diamond uh, X300 about. Uh, about 55 feet up in the air, and I am on the top of the bluff overlooking the Missouri River, so I've got a pretty good uh, takeoff out there to the north and the east. Right now it's up into South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota, down into Kansas, uh, Missouri, and Kentucky, so you, you just never know where it's going to go from there. A little later in the evening, and things are still looking pretty good. Well, good evening. I won't hold up the band. I'll let you go, but uh, I think you and I have uh, spoke before. Uh, this is Berlin, Victor Echo Radio Lima, India, November, uh, from Sibley, Iowa. I think we've uh, spoke before in a band opening. Yes, hi, Berlin. We have spoke enjoy. before. I'll say WC0 AKX. This is Whiskey Zero. This is my team. I got here about a five and nine into the remote site at Westington Springs, South Dakota. Give us up. QSL. Well, I've got a full-scale signal on uh, on your system there. It's coming in uh, just as strong as can be here in Albert Lee, Minnesota. QSL, QSL. Over 160 uh, miles. Uh, 73 for now. Thanks for the contact. This is Whiskey Zero, Zulu Mike Lima. Thank you, and 7-3 WD0AKX. Oh, doing great for a mobile in Des Moines there. This is Larry in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Uh, Whiskey Delta Zero Alpha Kilo X-Ray. I'm copying you a little bit of noise. And uh, you're dropping out once in a while, but I'm copying you over. Roger, Larry. Good copy here. About an S5. And, uh, yeah, conditions are really good. Here. Around 135 miles, miles away. About 10 miles north of Des Moines. All right, very good. Well, the signal is doing great for uh, Mobile. So, yeah, we got some wild conditions here tonight, so it's a lot of fun. Been making a lot of contacts here over. Roger, Roger, yeah, I got a contact with a uh, K0QIK, Underwood, Minnesota, and uh, got a couple of guys over to and a couple other guys that are all over the state there. So, that was great. Thanks for the contact. As you can see on the bottom side of my radio here on the second band, I'm monitoring the APRS frequencies, and I have a compass indicating direction uh, and the mileage to the station I'm picking up. So as you can see on here, also the direction of the station and the distance to the station, and I'm seeing some long-distance APRS stations popping in here. Yeah, I'm trying to make the most of it here. I've been um, off and on all day here. Um, and conditions have just been getting better, uh, especially as the sun went down there. Uh, WD zero. Station in Kansas. I'm trying to work. There he is. He is at 343 miles distant. Okay, I copy you, uh, WD0J. You're kind of weak. I did hear you that time. I did copy you. I'm uh, in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Albert Lee, Minnesota. Oh, you're there. He looked you up on uh, QRZ. He, he found you on QRZ. Um, but uh, he just can't uh, make it out. Okay, very good. Thanks. Or tell him thanks for the try. Uh, WD0AKX. Appreciate it. Will do, Larry. Kilo Echo Zero, Mike. 
copy of this is whiskey delta zero alpha kilo x-ray larry in albert lee minnesota nice to make the contact with you Yeah, we got a, quite an opening tonight. It's sounding great, and uh, it just uh, a lot of people are going to bed, but it's still uh, on the map, uh, showing on the APRS uh, propagation map pretty good here. So you're sounding real good here. Uh, what was your location again in Missouri? Southwest Missouri, between Springfield and Joplin, Missouri. All right, real good. I used to get down to Joplin a lot when I was young. My grandma lived down there, so kind of know that area, but... Uh, haven't been down there for a while, but yeah, you're sounding great here. Uh, it's uh, it's hard to believe our signals are reaching each other on two meters here tonight. Yeah, Roger that, Larry. All right, I'm going to give you a five and two fifty-two for a signal report. Uh, about two, about two SES there, but I hear you plenty clear. So I'll say seventy-three and thanks for the contact, Larry. Wk zero AKX from Wk zero M80. Well, there you go. Using tropospheric ducting to make contacts uh, can be a lot of fun. A lot of hams have fun with it. And the new hams, uh, when you come across this, you should find it very interesting and a lot of fun. I was talking to some new hams last night also. So uh, thanks for watching. And 7-3, I'm Radio Ham Guy on YouTube. Well, there you go. That uh, mode of uh, 